Okay, so you've identified or determined a way to measure and identify your risk. The next thing you have to do, you looked at your risk impact and you asked yourself, well, what do I need to know? Well, I need to know what is the likelihood that the risk is going to occur in our organization? And if it does, what is the consequence to the organization if it did? So you have to have also some type of measuring system. So you can say, for example, what likelihood. If it's almost certain that it's going to occur, you need to have a scoring system. So you can say a score of five, if it's almost certain, would equate to if it has greater than a 90% chance of occurring, as opposed to a score of one, which is it's rare, it probably isn't going to occur, and it's going to be less than 10%, it gets a lower score. And you do the same thing with consequence. You look at the consequence. What if the risk happened in your organization? What is the consequence? Again, going back to the risk impact that we talked about, the reputation, the financial and illegal and regulatory uh, impact against the organization. And the higher the score that you use there, the higher the impact, you know, five being catastrophic. Um, when you look at that, you put it all together and you use those uh, multipliers, the measurement system to multiply against each other, and that gives you your score. Thank you.